We moved here in 1962, December of 62, and joined the church in uh, January of 63. So we've been members here for, this will be my 60th year, 59 years we've been members. Uh, when we moved here, we had three children, uh, Pam, Deborah, and David. And so they grew up in this church. They were baptized in this church, or rather the one on Tremaine Street, and they were married. I think one of my funniest memory, uh, I taught in the children's department and our pastor, Pastor Cofield, loved the children's choir and the children's children loved him. And so one time we were planning a uh, party for the children. And what we did, we had it out of the airport and Pastor Cofield took each of the children up for a ride in the plane. Now the teachers didn't go. <laughs> we're not as brave as children, but all the children that were allowed by their parents to go went up with him. Oh, he was a wonderful pastor, and he had a wife that was the ultimate in pastor's wives. She was such a caring person, and she was so involved in the life of the church, there was never a need that she didn't uh, respond to it. I went forward in church when I was 10 years old in Bostwick, Florida, and was baptized in the St. John's River. So I knew over the years that I was not saved. So finally, after I came to this church, I talked to Pastor Cofield, and I told him that I was not saved when I was baptized. And he said, what do you think you should do about it? I said, I think I should be baptized. And so he baptized me. That was over on Tremaine Street in the church over there. When we came to Mount Dora, that's where the church was. We were very excited about the idea of moving into a new church, a new location. We had a number of uh, fundraising uh, events. My husband was very involved in that, and we were all very involved in that. We were just ordinary people. We were not people with a lot of money. We were not people that with a lot of uh, talents, but yet we were able to design and build and pay for this building. And of course, the biggest thing was just this past year paying off completely the debt that we had. Well, there's members of pastors, but the uh, one that uh, was the most influential on our lives was uh, Bob Walker. He was the pastor here for most of, most of the time that we were serving. Happy birthday, First Baptist Mount Dora. It's been a great hundred years, and I'm so glad that I've been a part of it for almost 60 years.